Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, I made it back home. Crazy, huh? Anyways, there is the Swiss Army Compact. It made it back, made it through uh, all my travels, and it performed very well. Most used tool on here was the scissors. The scissors on these are just uh, fantastic, and uh, I'll show them off real quick. You know, they worked really well, but yeah, this was what I used the most out of my tool set. Uh, the Compact is a great knife, two layers. Done a review on it. Uh, you guys know it. Lots of reviews on this elsewhere, so I will leave that there. But I thought I'd give you kind of an update. You know, no no real uh, travel stories to say on the, on the way home. Everything went uh, pretty smooth. Uh, didn't have too many issues. But I thought, you know, we do kind of a fun knife Friday. And what's more fun than a great big old honking knife? Here you go. Now, this is a Rough Rider. This is their large uh, Warncliffe. Uh, look at that. How is that for a blade? Now, I got to tell you, this thing is a beast. It's got a couple of finger cutouts. And, and the reason I got this knife, I had done, if you are you know new to the channel, you probably didn't see it. And this is when I first started the channel. Uh, one of the viewers was uh, nice enough to send me some knives to review, and this was one of the knives. I really liked it then, because uh, with that big blade, it definitely is uh, drop shut. But what's really cool is you can put this in your pocket, and it really doesn't hit the bottom. And you could have a big old uh, giant knife if you needed one for whatever reason you need to, say you're cutting up watermelons or something at a picnic, uh, but definitely a gigantor size knife. And that just makes me smile. And so I brought out a knife that you guys have seen before. This is my cold steel uh, Recon Tanto. And as you know, this knife definitely makes me smile. But uh, for, for size comparisons, uh, even the Rough Rider is just slightly bigger than this. So we are looking at some uh, really large blades. Now, if you compare it bolster to bolster, you see that the uh, the blade is a little bit smaller, but uh, handle-wise, uh, definitely has it beat. So if you have great big gigantic ham-sized hands, uh, you got a lot of real estate. You could even grip it way the heck down here, and you'd really have some reach and some uh, leverage but uh, really cool knife uh 440a steel uh here you go. let's see if we can see that on the blade let me set this guy down let's see if you can focus on that okay that's just the uh the model number right there the rr2080 i believe and uh yeah it's just a it's just a cool knife, but looking at this big old knife, this is kind of where the update part of it goes. Let me go ahead and turn that around. I, I can all redeploy this one. I mean, it just, it's on ball bearings. The Rough Rider modern knives are really uh, very cool. If you think they just make slip joints, uh, they don't. And you should check out their modern line. They are really well constructed, really great performance. Uh, they're awesome knives and they're at a great price. But uh, one of the things I was thinking when I was looking at these large knives and larger knives and, and having flown and everything like that uh, made me think of knife size. So I've decided to do kind of an experiment and I'm gonna do this the rest of the summer. And so this is something that I kind of challenge you guys to do too. And, and you don't have to do reviews on all of these knives or anything like that, but I'm going to call this like a uh, a minimalist summer or summer slim down or something, but it doesn't have to be an open tag, but just something that I would challenge you guys to do. And what, I, what I'm what i going to do now through uh, the end of probably September, we'll give it a good three months, I'm going to revisit knives I don't carry much that are three inches or smaller closed, like this uh, Buck 309. Uh, great pen knife. Uh, this is a USA made one, uh, but yeah, these are just a fantastic little knife. And I thought, you know, I used to carry smaller knives all the time 
And then I started carrying knives that were three and a half and larger. And I thought it was too easy to go to three and a half as a uh, limit on the size. Here's your uh, pen blade. And I think it's because if you go to three and a half, that's the sweet spot for most knives that you're gonna find, most folding knives. So I thought, let's go a little bit smaller. Let's go to three inches closed and just see how it works out for the summer and see if I can get by uh, all my daily tasks with, uh, with a littler blade. I'm sure I can. I don't think it'll be a problem at all, but I thought, you know, let's just try something else. This is a nice little three finger knife. Uh, so, you know, just something that I was thinking about, something I want to do. We'll talk about it more on the uh, live show on uh, Sunday, which uh, if you've seen the description for the live show, we're going to be talking about red knives because HT said, hey, how about if we show off some red knives? And so I know he's got some uh, really good bangers. Let's check them out and see what he's got. And I mean, this is right up Kalen's alley because as you guys know, he specializes in uh, the red bone uh, case knives. So we're going to have some really cool stuff to look at. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Like I said, just a little bit of an update, kind of what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. And uh, and hey, and a big old Rough Rider that uh, may or may not be worth your time. Uh, really nice knife. Look at how much stock you have there does have a swedge in the middle, so you get kind of that wasp uh, effect if you look at the top of the spine. What a great Warren Cliff. Really, really cool. So, there you go. Enough said. We'll catch y'all on Sunday. See you then.